I've gotten the question in the past, similar to things like, hey, Haiga, I'm going to be making some alts, but I'm just not sure what to do. There's a lot of other games that people have played where alts aren't exactly as encouraged as they are in Lost Ark. So they understand that it's important to have them, but they may not necessarily know why. So today I'm going to talk about some of the value you can get with your alts. From the beginning of their existence at level 50, all the way up to when they're fully caught up closer to your main character. If I fail to mention anything that you think is very important, keep in mind I'm human. These are just some of the main things I thought of. Go ahead and put it down in the comments so I can pin the comment for other people to see. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I have listed is more materials things like guardian stones destruction stones and leap stones when you do your daily chaos dungeons you get guardian stones and destruction stones that are unbound so you can put them in your roster storage and when you do your daily guardian raids you get leap stones that are unbound so you can put those in the roster storage as well a lot of times even in like the late 1400 chaos dungeons it comes out to like 300 destruction stones or 700 guardian stones per chaos dungeon it could vary sometimes you get more sometimes you get less and you can put those in the roster storage and doing that on multiple characters will just start to kind of accumulate those big numbers that's why guardian stones are so cheap right now because so many people get so many from all of their characters i know i for one have over a hundred thousand guardian stone crystals saved on my main storage that i'm just saving right now for scout now something else you can do with these materials is sell them and the next point i had on this list was you get more gold from doing those chaos dungeons if you choose to sell guardian stone crystals destruction stone crystals or the great honor leap stones or honor leap stones for that matter even if you're selling tier two stuff you could still make some money i'm pretty sure the point is you you can sell that stuff that you get on your other characters to make a little bit of extra money for whatever it is you're trying to make money for on your account another way that you earn more gold with more alts is you have more characters to do legion raids abyss dungeons abyss raids and all that stuff weekly you have six characters per account that can earn gold from doing these activities every week so getting as close to six characters if not six characters is very nice and very efficient for that gold making you get thousands of extra gold from things like Vaulton and vicus thousands of extra gold from argos and thousands of extra gold from the hard mode arejas with the recent power passes and hyper express passes i'm pretty sure the masses are all at least 1370 now so getting your characters up there shouldn't be too bad especially since they made tier one and tier two like guaranteed upgrades and two upgrades per success so it's much easier to get up there to make all that extra gold which is nice because things are kind of expensive right now the next thing i have on the list is more silver i briefly mentioned earlier that you could do more chaos dungeons when you have more alts right chaos dungeons give a ton of silver especially if it's on an alt character for me i have my main six characters that i try to do all my content my daily content on every day and then i have characters like seven through twelve who i don't really go on every day if i have the time i'll go on them but i normally just let them accumulate rest bonus and whenever i have time i'll go ahead and do their chaos dungeons even if it's fully rested chaos dungeons from completing the chaos dungeon you get upwards towards like 50k silver from completing it and even if they don't have rest bonus you get 20k silver from completing it you get tons of silver throughout the dungeon itself while you're defeating mobs there's also an Una's weekly that you can complete via chaos dungeons to get like 30,000 silver out of chaos dungeons you can also get cube tickets or boss rush tickets those have weeklies that give you silver the cube gives silver like normally you can get the treasure rooms that give silver and all of that stuff it just really really adds up and some people may not need silver right now so you may not think it's as important but it is extremely extremely essential if you plan on honing in the future or if you're planning on working on cards silver will go down extremely fast if you're upgrading lots of cards for certain bonuses and when you start getting up to the 1470s 1480s and higher the amount of raw silver required to just fill up the xp for the piece that you're trying to upgrade is insane it gets up to like 2 million silver just filling it up and then another 30,000 per attempt or re-rolling gems costs a lot of silver there's so many things that just absolutely suck your silver dry so getting as much is very very good you can never have too much silver you can also do low paying on those characters which is a bonus task which i will go more into later because that's another one of my points now this one might be one of the most slept on useful things that you could do with your alts is more bifrosts even if you don't have the crystalline aura i believe you have two bifrosts assuming you do not have the nine or ten ignea tokens i think it's nine ignea tokens where you get the extra bifrost key so assuming you don't have the crystalline aura and you don't have that you have two bifrost spots which is not that many so you have to be limited and efficient with where you place your bifrosts and having extra characters characters 
allows you to have a bit more wiggle room and you can have characters placed in different locations what this allows is when i use the lost merchants website and there's ever a legendary rapport reported or if there's a specific maybe a purple card that i'm looking for that's sold at wandering merchants any wandering merchant related needs i have characters with bifrost in those places which makes it easier for me to access this can also help you out with una's dailies i haven't worked on them in a while because i've completed most of the important ones but a lot of una's tasks are placed all around the map there's some that give you certain virtue potions that are on islands or different continents some that give you like skill point potions which are on islands or other combat stat potions on islands so being able to place your bifrost around in these different islands if necessary is extremely helpful it also saves you a lot of time because you don't have to always sail to the you know location you're trying to go to plus imagine trying to do all that stuff on one character oof now i'm going to piggyback off of that point to now talk about the unis tasks if you don't know you're allowed to do three unis tasks a day unless you use those passes that allow you to do more of them but by default you're able to do three unis tasks a day the daily ones you're also able to do three weeklies a week sorry i don't know what happened to my voice three weeklies a week and now one of the reasons it's very important to have alts is because you can only earn reputation on a specific unis task one time per day a lot of people know that when you do these unis tasks there's reputations that you fill up and they can give you all types of rewards if you're early on and you're newer to the game there are rewards like skill point potions giants hearts virtue potions gold certain items you need for island souls other island souls there's just so many things that you can get from doing una's tasks and the una's reputations so being able to do more of them a day will help you knock them out faster so leaving your bifrost on specific islands for an unis task that you're looking for or looking to finish can really really help out get that down now on to the next point i have more alts means more characters that you can put into a guild to try and get into a guild with a level five guild shop now this is important because i'm sure some people know but there is a guild vendor there's a bloodstone exchange vendor and the bloodstone exchange vendor allows you to buy these chests once a week per character and these punica chests that you can buy have a chance of giving you either 38,000 silver, cube ticket, or a boss rush ticket. You accumulate bloodstones by doing things like guild quests, guild contribution, and stuff like that. And being able to get those extra boss rushes or extra cubes are huge because that means you either get extra silver, you have a chance of getting legendary engraving books or purple engraving books that you could be looking for, maybe extra protection mats on the character from the cube, or doing the boss rush and getting extra honor leap stones, great honor leap stones, and gems. So those are just super, super good to do. Being in a guild that has a level five guild shop, you're able to buy three of those boxes a week, and that is per character. So if you have six characters, that's 18 boxes in total to try and roll for additional boss rushes or cube tickets. Sometimes you'll get unlucky, you'll just get silver that happens to me all the time but you just gg go again next week to try and get more because you're still going to be able to get your cube tickets and your boss rushes from the chaos dungeons but having a chance to get extras is very very nice if you have enough bloodstones you can also buy some of the honing mats you could buy like 240 destruction stone crystals per week per character um, i don't remember the amount i think it's like 500 guardian stone crystals and there are great honor leap stones that you can buy in that shop as well but those are bound those are not tradable between your roster storage the guardian stone crystals and destruction stone crystals are though and the last thing i'm going to mention is probably after you've already done most of your horizontal content or maybe you're just rushing for these card sets is you're going to have more characters to do abyss runs or abyss dungeons to earn cards you guys have probably done abyss dungeons up to this point you guys know that there's the Vern one at like 302 item level or something like that like 340 i think then there's the 460 one in rowan there's the 841 in Yorn, there's Gate of Paradise, which is 960, and then there is the Arehas at 1325, 1340, and then Hard Mode at 1370. Now, all of these dungeons have a very slim chance of giving you a card, and a lot of people nowadays are going for their 18 piece Light of Salvation. Maybe you're trying to get a specific card for Lost Wind Cliff, you're trying to get that 12 piece for that crit rate, or whatever other card you're going for. I don't believe every single card legendary can drop from there but there's a good amount of legendary cards that can drop from there so people like to farm them however it's a very slim chance to get and the content is very easy so people usually go through the abyss dungeons on one character then switch characters go through them again just to have more chances 
of getting those drops. I did the run last week. I didn't get any cards and I did the run the week before that. I got an Armin card, I think. I had a friend who got like six legendary cards two weeks ago though. So you can get pretty lucky, but I'm pretty sure those are some of the main things that I wanted to cover as far as value that your alts can get. I'm sure I mentioned it in the beginning, but if there's anything you think I failed to mention that is pretty important, don't be afraid to just put it down in the comments below so I can pin for other people to see. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope this guy's gave you some insight if you were a little unsure about what type of value your alts can get or what you could do on your alt characters. Until next time, it's been your boy Haiga. If you have any further questions, you can comment down below or ask on the Twitch stream. The link is in the description or you could just go to twitch.tv slash Haiga. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys later.